friends i am shravana and welcome back to my channel sparkling future today we will discuss about scala constructors before starting with the today's topic i request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like share comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications thank you so scala constructor is used for creating an instance of a class scala class which we discussed yesterday and uh, if you know java you will very well understand about these constructors if not also usually for uh, construction i mean by default uh, uh, in java we have to create the getters and setters for each and every uh, class okay that is called the constructor so but here uh, scala compiler itself it will automatically generates the getters and setters when we create the constructors and uh, there are two types of constructors primary and auxiliary constructor so yesterday we have seen uh, one sample class right so class first class and uh, if we don't send any of the parameters here and uh, if we just create with m zero arguments then it is called as uh, primary constructor and default constructor in the sense if um, usually okay i'll i'll give an example okay for example here you are sending something like this okay so if you don't send anything also it will be considered as a default constructor and which is also a primary constructor and if you are sending some arguments to it then this will become the primary constructor uh, fields and whatever you provide the body inside this class right that will become the body of the constructor primary constructor in java if you take any class okay you can just open any sample java class you can clearly see the difference it will be like for any class one of the constructors the primary constructors they will mention along with some getters and setters but here we don't have that and moreover if you don't specify anything like how we have in the yesterday's class how we have seen if we don't specify anything then it will consider this as a default primary constructor and the fields that we have declared inside the class will become the fields of the i mean body body of the primary constructor inside the definitions of this function it will not consider as a functions as inside the prime primary constructor body okay that will be a class member it is function declared inside the class will become the class member but whereas the fields that are, are any other computations print ln statements de declared directly inside the class will will be considered as the body of the primary constructor here we have not specified any of the parameters so which is called as if you don't specify anything that particular constructor type is called as default primary constructor and let's send some input to this now so here we are sending some value here which is which what is the meaning of that is this is the primary constructor with one input parameter and again here no need to provide no need to add getters and setters scala compiler will by default generate the getters and setters okay so now let's uh, see uh, i'll just remove this let's cr create a class here class animal i'll, I'll just take a sample okay and let's say you you have two parameters name comma type name of the animal and type of the animal okay. types maybe that that is a d, uh, keyword so it is giving the error so now we have created a class animal and we are sending a param two parameters for that class which means that inside itself i'll write which means that there is a primary constructor with two input parameters okay so now this is the th this is what is called the primary constructor 
and we have the second type as auxiliary constructor primary auxiliary two two types this is also called as secondary constructor okay so now we have seen what is a primary constructor now coming back to the second one right secondary constructor this auxiliary constructor or secondary constructor can contain zero or more constructors in the class whereas this primary only one primary constructor should be present inside a single class whereas any number of uh, secondary constructors can be there and these secondary constructors are used for constructor overloading and defined as a method using the this name this name we will see with one example and also these uh, auxiliary constructors uh, must call either previously defined auxiliary constructor or the primary constructor in the first line of its body that is a default syntax for creating any defining any constructors hence every auxiliary constructor invokes directly or indirectly to a primary constructor so let's see this with an example then you can clearly understand okay so now i have created a class now let's say there is this this means we are creating a secondary constructor because this is the primary constructor and this is the auxiliary constructor now i am creating with now i'm i'm just giving okay cow and herbivores so this is the secondary constructor that we are going we are creating and we are calling the this method means primary constructor which is this one okay and once you come out of this it will become a primary constructor let's close the class now create another and all these auxiliary constructors will have the same name this and this is how i said constructor overloading it will use the same name but with different parameters so now let's say only name so inside this you are calling one argument constructor okay and let's say we have and in this you are sending only one which means this is calling this one okay and this one is calling this auxiliary constructor two arguments hope i have closed 
the braces because this was erroring we have the primary constructor and auxiliary constructor with the same kind of so I just added this location simply okay location or domestic or wild animal right so for that kind of uh, thing I have added and for herbivores I added this so now if you see there is a zero argument constructor we have created and then with one argument and with two argument constructor so now let's uh, create one inside the object this is inside this object okay I mean which is outside the class so now let's create an object for that with the new keyword we will create the n so now like this it's there and when I save it still building the workspace So, when wherever I create, have created the object, first it has printed as primary constructor. So let's go and see where exactly we are printing this primary constructor. If you see here inside the class, which is the primary constructor, we have already created, and this has been printed. And the second one is zero argument auxiliary constructor, because here we are not sending any of the parameter it will call to this default one and it is printing this zero argument auxiliary constructor now let's try to send one input and let's save it okay so first it has gone to by the when first time it went to this primary constructor anyway by default it has to go and now it is calling to the primary constructor it is calling the primary constructor okay this is the primary constructor and it is printing the primary constructor value here and then it is printing the zero argument auxiliary and then we are sending the input parameter right for this overloaded auxiliary constructor so it is printing the one argument uh, auxiliary constructor here okay, clear friends so based on that input that we have given it has called the primary and auxiliary constructors based on the parameters that we have given if we give the two parameters then what will happen is it inside again we are this of cow is there right this of cow means this one it will call this and again in from inside it will call to um, this and it will again by default it will call the primary constructor that's why every time it is printing primary constructor and which is which is what is expected in Scala code or Java code okay by default we should have a call to primary constructor okay from how many of the auxiliary constru constructors we will have indirectly or directly we should call the constructor okay hope this is clear to you friends if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section I will try to share more details for this but if you just I will just summarize it very quickly we have a class with uh, three parameters what we are trying is by default it will be considered as a primary constructor and here we are trying to define the auxiliary constructors auxiliary means itself th this is used for constructor overloading and this is created using a uh, name called this so this is the zero argument auxiliary constructor this is the one argument and this is the two argument for three we don't require because we already have a primary constructor placed so now based on the uh, when when we create an object for that particular clause based on the input parameters that we are sending the the whatever is uh, based on that how may, uh, uh, based on the requirement in the sense input parameters it will call that particular constructors and also inside the constructor it will be always the first line of auxiliary construction constructor should have directly or indirectly calling the either to the previous uh, auxiliary constructor or to the prim primary constructor every first line okay just remember that every first line you should always have 
uh, pointing to the either previous auxiliary constructor or to the primary constructor okay hope uh, this is clear to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you